All right, so I've started recording. Hopefully this um, is recording already. We are looking at the book of Jonah, the first uh, prophetic book that we're getting into. Uh, this is chapter one. We're reading with the Hebrew Cafe as part of our um, Hebrew 102 course. Let me silence my phone. I don't know why it went that All right. Um, I was utilizing, yep, doing that. All right, so here we go. We're starting off with the, the first three verses of the book. Did you have a chance this week to read through it? I did. Mm, good, good, good. All right, so why don't you start us off? I took the vowels off of, of um, yud heh vav in all instances. You can read it as Adonai or Yahweh or however you want to read it. All right, so here we go. Vayahi diber Adonai el Din Amitai Leor. Okay, just uh, the pronunciation of that word right there. Divar. Divar, right. It's not Divar Adonai, like uh, the Lord spoke, but the word of mm. the Lord. The word of the Lord Divar. came to Jonah. Yeah, so Divar Adonai. Son of Divar Amitai. Say. Exactly. All right. Cool. Uh, Stephanie, you want to do verse two? Yeah. Kum lech el ninve ha'ir hagdola ukla aleha aleha ki alta ra'atam lefanai. Mm-hmm. Get up and go um, lech. Uh, to Nineveh, um, the great city, uh, and call out uh, on them, like uh, again, again. Oh, against. That's right. Yeah, oh, that's better than on. Um, or who uh, alta? I know the ratam is evil, or like. Um, yeah, or, uh, they're evil, right? Their uh -huh, evil has uh -huh. done what? What's oh, uh, has gone up? On has gone up? Has gone up mm -hmm. to me, like before me. Yeah, mm -hmm. their evil has gone up before me. All right, good. Number three, uh, Hoshea. You're muted. Yeah, come. Ah, oh, sorry. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yahom, Yona, Libroach, Livroach, Tarshisha, okay, Tarshisha, Milif, Milifne, Adonai, Vayered, Yafo, Vay. Ba'a Tarshisha Vayiten. No, 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 Tarshish. 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 Mm -hmm. Vayiten Shekhara. Shekhara. Vayer. Ah, Sekhara. Sekhara. Mm -hmm. Vayered. Ba. Melifnei Adonai. Mm -hmm. Okay, where did it start? Ah, and Jonah rose up from Roach. Not from? Ah. Not At from, but to. To, to, Beroach. Hmm. To, Beroach. I, I, I. Let's take a look and see if it's in the uh, yeah, the book. That. If it's supposed to be helping you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure what what words are in the vocabulary and like what what they're expecting you to be responsible for. Um, 
So let's see. No, they don't give it. So it means it's probably in the in the vocabulary notes at the beginning of the reader. Jonah mm -hmm. chapter one. It says, mm -hmm. Barach, to flee. To flee, okay. There's uh, another okay. word for to flee in biblical Hebrew. It's lanus. Lanus and livroach both mean to flee. Towards those up to flee towards Tarshish. Mm -hmm. From up before before Adonai, oh, he flees before Adonai to Tarshish. Flees from Adonai. It could be from from the presence of God or from, from before the bread. God. Mm -hmm. I think he was under the impression that um, that God's presence was in Israel, and that if he ran <laughs> yes. away from Israel, then God wouldn't see him. Uh-huh. Mm. Um, out. Oh, yeah. He went down. Mm -hmm. Yafo is a place. Mm -hmm. Yafo. Ah, Japa. Yeah, Japa. He went down to Jopa and found Ania. Hmm. Onia. Onia. What is that? I don't recognize that. A boat. A boat. Okay. And found a hmm. boat that uh, that goes towards Tarshish. Mm -hmm. Tarshish. And he gave silver. Shaka. No. Silver is kesef. Sachal. Sachal is uh, is a wage. In this wage. case, it means it means a domain yeah. It means like a fair. Fair. Okay. And gave yeah. a fair. Sarah is what you need to pay to to ride. Mm -hmm. And went down toward, uh, and went down, hmm. ba, ba. Ah, and went towards the boat to yeah, go. He went, down in it. he went down in it. And the it he is went, feminine because boat is feminine. Boat feminine. And he went down in it to go in to him. Come. To come. To come. Remember, we've got la lechet is to go and la vo is to come, generally. To come, yeah. to come with them, mm -hmm. to, with them to Tarshish um, from the presence of Adonai. Yeah, he thought that if he would run away to Tarshish, then God wouldn't, uh, wouldn't see him. He wouldn't, him. he wouldn't be able to punish him. He'd run away from his presence. Uh, it makes you think, what about, um, you know, as religion developed, different, you know, monotheistic religions, um, they got more and more uh, connected to the idea that God is uh, everywhere. They got yeah. omnipresent, omniscient, um, omnibenevolent, omni, 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 omni. They got his all everything. Um, but we see in the Torah that there is more of a perspective of, of God being uh, limited. So when, when we see God wanting to punish, punish Sodom and Gomorrah, he says, the, the cry of their sin has come up before me, and I've come down to see if it's as bad as what I've heard. And now we have this idea that, the, that uh, Jonah is supposed to go to Nineveh and cry out against them because their evil has come up before me. Mm -hmm. It's the idea that um, uh, God has taken notice of just how bad it's become. Um, and then Jonah himself, a prophet of God, thinks that if he runs away from Israel, then God's not going to get him. He's not going to punish him. He can't reach him if he leaves Israel. And this is what we're actually, this is a major message of the book. A major message is you can't run away from God because God is indeed not just the God of Israel, but he's the God of all the world. Right. And so Jonas had, Jonah had this idea that, that uh, maybe the Ninevites deserve to be punished because they're yeah. Ninevites. They're not, uh, mm -hmm. they're not part of Israel. And, and in the last chapter of the book, we hear that, uh, that 
if you care so much about a tree that you didn't water and you didn't plant and you didn't take care of, um, why should the God of the whole earth not care about these people um, passing away? So, uh, so that's a ma- that's the major theme of the of the message of the book that uh, that we shouldn't be eth- ethnocentristic and that God is huh. a God of God of everyone and that we should be compassionate toward even the people who are our enemies. Very neat. All right, verse four. Um, I think I get to read this one. So it says, and the Lord cast um, a great wind to the sea, and there was a, a great storm in the sea, and the ship was about to break apart, about to be mm. broken. Um, Notice we have, this is a not, not above consecutive. Okay. Mm. It's, uh, this is a perfect. This is above consecutive depending on this perfect. And then this is also not above consecutive. So if you're thinking about the above consecutives and the movement of the narrative in the previous verse, we had uh, above consecutive that, that he found a boat and he paid its uh, fare, and he went down into the boat to go with them to Tarshish. Tarshish. And then suddenly we have this uh, background information that the Lord had cast a great wind into the sea. Mm. This is providing us background. It's not like the next logical step. It's, it's now like stepping away and giving us a bigger picture. Uh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, all right. So, and this idea of the ship being about to break apart was uh, also not part of the narrative, but an important piece of information that they added to tell us that the ship wasn't going to survive this storm. All right, and now we are in verse five. I think, Ward, you started this out, right? Yep. Okay, so have, have this one too. Vayir'u ha-malachim vayitzaku ish uh, I know that I know it, we also have we also have the word sa'ak, but this is za'a, z, vayizaku, vayizaku, vayizaku ish el elohav, va elohav. How high was that? Elohav? No, no, no. It's, it's right. Elohav. Mm-hmm. Okay, elohav. Uh, vayats tilu. See the accent right there? Vayatilu. Vayatilu. We would expect a yod here. We would expect a yod uh, normally, Vayatilu, but it's written defectively. Uh, Vayatilu et hakalim asher kelim. Kelim, hala kelim asher. Um, ba oni onia el hayom le hakim o hayam to see hayam le hakam me me alehem. This is le hak. What's the last part of it? Kim came. Came. It's not M. Kale. Oh, kale. Le kale. Le kale. Le kale. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I did that. Me a le him. Vayona. Vayona. Yarad. El. Vayona. Vayona. The the Yona Yarad El Yafkete Ha Hasifina the the Yish Hasfina the Yish Yishkev the Yishkav 
וירד. וירדם. וירדם. So this is, this is verb consecutive and this is verb consecutive. They are dependent on this verb. Okay, they're continued of it. Um, this is perfect, giving us more background information, saying that um, they cast the things into the sea and whatever to make it lighter for them. And then it tells us, but as for Jonah, he had gone down into the, the belly of the ship, like the lower parts of the ship, and laid down and fell asleep. Uh, so translate the whole thing, and we'll look. We we'll want to look at the uh, the above consecutive idea, the continu the narrative, continuous na the continuation of the narrative. So when the um, the sailors feared, mm -hmm. and each man called out to his god, mm -hmm. and they cast. And I'm going to have some questions about this verb a little later on because. Mm -hmm. Later on, you see under the Lamed, you see the kibbutz, and I'd like to talk about that. Mm -hmm. And so they cast the vessels of the containers, which were mm -hmm. in the boat, to the sea. And that's an interesting verb I had to look up there, is to lighten it. Yep. Um, uh, kale, it's from the word kal. To, to, kal an, is to enlighten... And this is an interesting word here. It's like may uh, out of him from on them. So what yep. was on the boat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. they make make it lighter, like basically for themselves, right? Uh, from upon themselves, which is kind of odd. Kind of and odd the expression, then, but that's the, that's the idea. Yeah. And then uh, Jonah went down to. Um, this is the, the innards of the ship. And there's a different word for ship here. Yeah. yeah. Sphina and he lay is down and normally he bigger asleep. than an onia. Hmm. Yeah. Um, beautiful. So this, because this is the perfect, it's really common to translate this as had, the, the past perfect. So you say, and Jonah, as for Jonah, he had gone down into the lower parts of the ship and, and lay down and fall asleep. Because uh, they're all freaking out upstairs, but he just, he had already gone downstairs and fallen asleep. So there, he wasn't, um, he wasn't frightened by the storm or whatever. He didn't even know what was going on, all right? Okay, beautiful. Number six, Stephanie, this is for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I need to move them. Okay. Vayik Rav Elav Rav Hahu Vel Vayom Melo Malecha Nirdam Kum Kera Ael Elohecha Ulai Yit Aset Ha ashet. Elohim, Ashit, oh, sorry, Yid Ashit Ha Elohim Lanu Velo Ni Ver, Vid Ni Ved. Lo No Ved. No Ved, sorry, No Ved, Velo No Ved. Okay. So, The captain of the ship, uh, Karav. I don't know that word. To him. Uh, do you know? Do you know Karov? Karov. No, I don't. It means uh, close, like uh, near. So oh. So Karav means, and he came near. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, like Bekeret, like in. Like that? That's yeah. an mm -hmm. inside. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. He came near, the, the captain of the ship came near and said to him, um, what to you, uh, what is it with you sleeping? Uh, get up um, and call. It's kind of, this is very idiomatic. What are you doing falling asleep? Okay, 
אוקיי, אוקיי. מה לך נרדם? אוקיי. מה אתה עושה כשאתה נרדם? תגיד לך ותקרא לתת God, um, and maybe, and perhaps uh, he will uh, do to, for you, to you, um, the Lord of it. Maybe God, so the maybe, right? Uh-huh, perhaps. perhaps. God will notice us. He will take notice of us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not, it's not a very common word here. Let's see how many times it's used. Let me see if we can find this. Here it is. Yit Ashet is, what is the root of that? Ayin Shin Tav. Okay. So it's used in the heat file only here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, it's used in the Kal, in Jeremiah 5.28, saying, it's not the same at all. They've grown fat and sleek. That's not... Not the same meaning whatsoever. Let's look to this one. Though. Yeah, no, it's not the same at all. So it's, this is the only verse that, uh, that has it. But basically it means uh, maybe he'll take notice of us and we won't perish. Maybe he'll notice that we're about to die and he'll save us. Okay. All right. Um, number seven. Is this me? No, it's the share. Here we go, verse seven. Were there any questions about that verse? The, the one you just took me? Mm -mm. No, you answered the ones that I had, so. No, okay. Go for it, Hoshea. Just take yourself off pause, off uh, mute. You're still on mute. ויאמרו איש אל רעהו לקו ונפילה גורלות גורלות This is what's the middle vowel the middle letter there not נפילה but na na נפילה 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 נד אה. נד אה. ושל מי הרעה? הרעה הזאת לנו. ויפילו גורלות. ויפול הגורל על יונה. אוקיי, סיגי סבן. אוקיי. אה, דמן... אתה רואה את הקשר שם, נכון? את הקשר שם בין ונפילה, ויפילו, ויפול. ויפול. אז זה... ואנחנו נעשה להתחיל, והם עשו להתחיל, והם עשו להתחיל. Okay. And they said, uh, and the man said, wait, the man said to them, okay, referring to Jonah. Each, each man said to his fellow. Okay. This each is, uh, man this said, is the way oh. that, This is the way that Hebrew does like uh, to one another. It will say a man El said Rey. to his friend, a man said mm -hmm. to his neighbor, something like that. And the men said to one another, uh, let uh, leku from halak, um, let us go. And Norm normally it means go, right? But in this case, it mm. means come. Come, let us do something. Okay. 
come and let us drop or make fall goralot uh goralot um i um things uh how do what's the best way to translate we, goralot we say lot lots l o t s s l o t s lots, lots. Ah, okay Ka goral yeah okay cast lots drop lots and let and no Oh, okay, literally it says and we will know but it means you know mm. so that we will know let's cast okay. lots so that we will know that we will know is this from shalom no <laughs> no it's from be be the prefix in mm. shel is like asher le which Sher. to and then uh. who. It's a, it's a weird expression that's all jammed together. That's one, two, three, four words jammed together, meaning I on see. whose account. On whose account. <laughs> on mm -hmm. whose account the evil, this evil to us. Ah, on whose account is this evil upon us. Mm -hmm. And they cast, okay, lots. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it fell, and the lots fell upon Jonah. <laughs> Okay, so it is yeah, here. The lot, the lot fell upon Jonah. <laughs> so the Napila is Hifil, and the Yapilu is Hifil, and Vayipol is Kal. Uh, so this is, they caused to fall, caused to fall, and fell. Okay. It, from Nafal. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we're back to Ward. Or are we on me? I don't know when, what the reading order is now. Oh, there's four, and so this would be my second one. Okay, me. Vayomru elav, hagida nalanu, ba'asher lemi hara'a zot lanu. Ba'asher lemi, that's the same as beshel mi. You see that? Ba'asher lemi. Ba'asher lemi. Ba. And then asher is she, it's the same word. She, le, mi. Mi. Beshel mi, ba asher le mi, it's the same thing. Mm. So beshel mi hara azot lanu, and ba asher le mi hara azot lanu. Okay, the next mm. one. Ma malach techa, ume ein tavo, ma al tsecha, all right, so number eight says, they said to him, that is to Jonah, tell us, tell us, on account of whom is this evil to us? On account of, of whom is this evil happening to us, right? What is your uh, trade? What is your, uh, your profession or whatever? And where are you coming from? Where do you come from? What is your land, your country? And um, from what people are you? Kaboom. This expression here, a mise am, a mise am. Today we would take the me and pull it over here and we use the word aze. Aze means which? Aze. So we would say, U me eze am ata, and from what people are you? And from which people are you? It's a, it's a weird combination here, but uh, it's neat. We would say, from are you? Okay. Any questions about that? Why is the imperfect being used here? Me ein tavo. They could eas just as e easily have asked, Ume aina taba. Ume aina taba. Where are you coming from? Ume ein tavo. We see in direct speech in the Bible that many, many times when they're using the present tense, they actually speak in the, imper in the imperfect. So we, we saw in the story of Joseph where he was going to visit his brothers and he came across a man in a field and the man asked him, what are you looking for? Or who are you looking for? He says, et me to vakesh. 
Tivakesh in the in the imperfect, like as if it's the future. Who would you look for? Who will you look for? But he means it in the present. Who are you looking for? And this is what they mean here too. May Ain Tavo, where are you coming from? You're coming from somewhere. You're on the ship. Coming, where are you coming from? Yeah. All right. Is that pretty clear? All right. Ward, you're on verse nine. And you're muted. Whoop. I'm okay. Things flipping all over the place. There we go. Vayomer Elehem Ivri Anohi. Okay, so normally that's right. Anohi. Anohi is normally accented here. Just like Ata. Ata is normally accented here. When it's at the end of the verse or in pause, it likes to flip that accent over. So instead of ata, anohi. this is ata, and this is anohi. anohi. And you can see it in you can see it in this. That this right, is on this syllable, so it's anohi. Um, anohi. Always also the word vayomer. Always accented here. It's always uh, it's not it's always penultimate accent. Vayomer, not vayomer. Vayomer. Vayomer lehem ivri anohi. <laughs> you work so hard to get that accent shifted in Hebrew. Now you got to go back. Vayomer, Vayomer. Elechem Ivri Anohi. Whoop, I'm about to lose you here. The Et Adonai. Well, okay, for a second, it looks like. Ve'et Adonai Elohe Hashemayim Ani Yared Asher Not Yared Ya Yared Oh Yare 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 Yeah Fear Hashimaim Ani Yare Asher Asa et Hayom Vet Hayom Yom is day. Vet Hayam. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Vet Hayam Vet Hayabasha. And he said, I am a Hebrew. He said to them, right? Yeah, he, he said, said to, to them, them, I am a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure why the it is here. Is that making this a direct object? An Adonai? It is the direct object of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Adonai. So you, you could um, switch it around and make the subject first because that's how we speak in English, you know. Uh, but Adonai, the uh, the God of the heavens, uh, I fear. So I fear Adonai, the God of the heavens, mm -hmm. who made uh, the sea and the dry land. Yeah, mm -hmm. I fear Adonai, the God of heaven, made the sea and the dry land. Great. Uh, Stephanie, verse 10. Okay. Vayileu ha'anashim yara gadola. Vay, oh, yira gadola. Vayoru elav mazot asita. Yad U Ha Anashim Ki Mil Milifne Adonai Hu Vorea Ki Hagid Lahem Higid. This is a verb we don't use. 
like we don't use the past tense of this verb anymore. Ah. Uh -huh. When when I came to Israel, I I did because I learned it from the Bible. So I would <laughs> say he got it, Tilo. He got the law. I told him, and they would say, "No, we don't say he got the. You say si partilo, amartilo. We don't say he got the law. You can use it in the future. Ani agidlo. I will tell him. Huh. Uh, it's 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 neat. It's neat to actually hear it in the past tense like this. He <laughs> gidlam because we don't say that. We don't use it in the in the present tense either. Only in the future. It's weird. Um. Anyway, so great. What's it mean? Oh. Uh. Uh. Yeah. The. Uh. Sorry. The men uh, feared greatly, um, and they said to him, what have you done uh, um, that... You could make that more idiomatic in English. You could say, what is it you've done? What is it? <laughs> okay, he yad u because they knew the men knew that uh, from uh, Adonai he had fled for he had told that to them, told to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this is the the speech right here, the quotation marks. Um, and this is giving us some background information again, which is why we've got the perfect here and the perfect here, right? It's not part mm -hmm. of the narrative. It's, it's explaining why they're asking it to him or asking him that. Mm -hmm. Great. Number 11, I think we saw Shea. Um, <clears throat> vayom, vayom ru, elav, ma naase, lach. Okay, so, and they said to him, what, huh? What have done to you? What have we done to you? It's actually asking, it's, this is a deliberative question. What? Uh, He's not asking what, what have we done, ma sinulah, but what have you? should we do? Okay. They're, they're, asking, he's, they're asking for advice. What should we do to you what so that this will stop? <laughs> what should we do to you? And Veishtok hayam, veishtok. So this ve isn't really and. It doesn't really mean and. It, they're asking a deliberate so question. What should we do so that oh. that vav that vav is so that. So that um, I don't know this. Uh, it will be quiet. Okay, the sea will be quiet, so that the sea will be quiet. Um, me aleinu, me aleinu, be quiet for us, for us. From upon us, literally from, from upon us. From like upon us. Like we feel us. that the sea is so, like it's storming so strong upon us, like it's going to kill us. How do we make it be quiet from upon us? Mm. You know? Uh. Oh. What's going so air? I'm not. I'm not uh, uh, so air is the so oh, it's the storm. Didn't we have that? Storm. Right there? This one, Sa'ar Gadol. This is a storm. So, So'er is... 
storm is getting hard. It's more and more rough. Storm, the sea is becoming stormier and stormier. More and more harsh. All right, number 12. Um, Vayomer, the action. Vayomer alehem, said to them. Sauni, this is an imperative. Sa'u, lift up. Ni, me. This one says yes. Lift me up. Mm. Vahatiluni. This is Atilu. Atiluni. Toss me. It would normally have a vav, right? The Hatilu. But whenever you add the suffix, many times it loses the vav. It just becomes a vahatilu, Hatiluni. Cast me into the sea. Okay? Sauni vahatiluni alayam. And the sea will become quiet upon you, from upon you. Okay. There's that this is Bisheli on account of me. This is the uh, I, you know, the one first person. On account of me, the, is this great storm upon you. Mm. I know that it's my fault. Okay. Um, ward number 13. The El le le hashiv el hayabah sham velo yakolu lo yakolu ya yakolu yakolu ki hayam tol ve and the um, first yachtu. verb I don't which one Vayachtu. yeah okay and they they rode I would take that as um, toward the, the men rode toward the. Uh, well, it's the, to uh, to return to return to the dry land. Mm -hmm. Meaning to and, return the but, ship to the dry land. Right, and they were not able mm -hmm. because the sea. Um, it sounds like it it. it uh, was walking up, rising up. The storm well, was rising so up. It just means it, it keeps storming. Like it goes on storming. It keeps storming. Mm -hmm. Like it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. Upon uh, them. Yeah, the Yaholu is a pausal form. Yaholu. The third person is Yahol, Like the third person singular. Yahol. Uh, to be able. He what He's able. Um, the normal, the normal past tense is yachlu, yachlu, but with the pause we get that o coming back and it's yacholu. Okay, but it's normally yachlu. Um, all right, verse fourteen, Stephanie. It's a it's a long verse. Yay. Vayik reu el Adonai. Vayomeru Ana Adonai El Al Na Noveda 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 Benefesh Haish Haze Va the Al Titen Ale Alenu dam 
na ki ki that the aleph there is is kind of odd it's normally without it's just na ki okay ki ata uh, adonai ka asher ha fa havatsta asita okay and they called uh to Adonai, uh, and they said, uh, please, mm -hmm. um, isn't Anna... These are the same basic words. Okay, okay, I was like, okay. Uh, no. Anna Noved. Uh, um, noved, noved, I'm um, noveda. I'm having trouble with noved. Noved is we will perish, we will be lost. So noveda is a cohortative. Let us not be al na noveda. Let us not be lost. In in life. Um. Oh no! This is um. It's. Do not let us die. This is do not let us die. And then uh -huh. this is tied to the next phrase. Okay. Um oh oh don't let us die uh because of this man. Mm -hmm. Um it would, it would follow, it nefesh Aisha Zeh, even though it means literally the life of this man. Uh -huh. Nefesh is life, right? Or soul. Uh -huh. It actually means yeah. it actually means don't let us Die! Don't let us die because of this man's death. This the uh -huh. nefesh here is, is is actually his death, not his life. So, like what we're about to do to him, like they're asking. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to. He told us Please. that we need to pick uh -huh. up and throw him and uh -huh. let us die because uh -huh. we're doing this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, to uh, give. Uh, don't, Blood. don't, don't, this is where it is, don't. Don't, yeah. Um, on, blood on us, give blood on us. Latet doesn't have to mean give. It can, like, uh, you can say, natati etakos, natati etakos ala shulchan. Natati etakos ala shulchan, it means I put. Put, oh, I don't put place, like, on, like the blood guilt on us? Don't put innocent blood upon us. Okay. Naki is innocent. Okay, okay, that's okay. Okay. Mm. For you, uh, for what, for you, uh, Adonai. As so this should actually be moved over here logically. Okay. For you did. For you have done. Oh, it's okay. Related to the present. For you have done as um, have. Uh, Chafatsta is the biblical way of saying please? that. Sita. Yeah, you've done as you've done as you've ple as you pleased. Or you've done what okay. you wanted. Like how um, it could, Okay. It could be gnomic in a sense. Like you're saying, don't put innocent blood upon us. For you, you always act as you will. Like you always mm -hmm. perform your own will. So uh -huh. we're just carrying out what you want done because you're making this big storm. You wanted mm -hmm. this. You were just doing it. Don't punish us. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. But the, the idea, ata adonai ka'ashya chafatz ta'asita, the idea is that according to what you wanted, you have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is your doing, don't punish us. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, number 15. Uh, Hoshea. Number 15. Vaisu, Vaisu, et Yona, Vai. You had it right at the beginning. 
Vai su. Vai su. Et yona. Vai. Et yona. Et yona. Et yona. Vai ti lugu. Those accents, you know. Et yona. Va. Vai ti lugu. El. Hayam. Vai a amod. Hayam. Miza f ah, miza f, miza fu, miza fu, miza po, po, miza po, miza po, miza po, miza po. Vaire u. Ah, that's the next verse. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, it's the end. Okay, and they. Yona, Jona, and by the and through, and tossed towards the sea, and tossed him towards into the sea. Into the sea. Not towards the sea. It's into the sea. Into the sea. And via Amad, Amod, and Amod, Amod stood. Stood, mm -hmm. it's stood still. Is that what it's saying? And the sea stood still. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they pick up Joan, Jonah and tossed him to the sea, and the sea stood still. From its. From its ah mitsapo. From its, huh. I don't recognize this from it's its, uh, like anger, rage. Ah, from you know, the, the, ra the raging heat. Yeah. Zoef. 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 But it's um, Zaf, Zaf is uh, anger. Zapo, oh, it's, it's anger. It's kind of like anger. an infinitive construct from its being from angry. Itself. From its being angry, okay. Or from its from its raging. Um, the word la mode, we think of it as like standing to stand, but oftentimes it means to stop moving. Because if you're walking, and then you stand, it means you stop moving. And so that's uh, that's what it means here that the sea stopped moving. All right, verse sixteen. Uh, Lord, they offered a sacrifice to the Lord, and they made vows. They vowed vows. Okay, so they uh, offered sacrifices to God and they made vows. I think this also plays into the theme that, um, that not only Israel of people who are not Jews. So I think this plays into the story as well as we, as we see that they tried to figure out what God it was that was trying to punish them. They figured out that it was uh, the Lord God of heaven and then they offered sacrifices to him. So it's uh, playing into that, that theme. This is the entirety of Jonah chapter one that we just read. It's 16 verses. Could you the just... longest chapter in the world. Hmm? Come, go back one page. Mm -hmm. Could you just comment on the, um, where is it here? This year. Uh, the different mm -hmm. accentation you have on that as it goes through the passage. This is used, I think, four times. Yeah. Sometimes you've got this kibbutz, and sometimes you don't. Um, normally, uh, the normal form, of course, is hetil. Uh, 
He feel is the perfect. He cast, he threw. Um, in the future, Yaktil, he will, he will cast Yaktil. They will cast Yatilu, obviously. They will cast, okay. When it becomes, uh, they will cast him. Like we, we know the word Oto means him. Oto. You can join them together. Yetiluhu, they will cast him. Yetiluhu. Wow, I can't. This oh, okay. thing is getting in my way of typing numbers. Uh, okay, so there we go. That's how it looks normally. I, I, okay. I understand now. Uh, oh, okay. That's it. Yep, I get it. I get it. I was, I was going to say that uh, that many times vowels are vowel letters are left out and they're written defectively, and then instead of yitiluhu with the two vowel letters, you just get it without the vowel letters, and it has the same meaning. Yeah, I see where it comes from now. Thank, okay. thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, so that is the end. This is. Um, this is the entirety of the chapter, verses 1 through 16. We just read through that. Um, I think it's good to step back and look at just how much text we successfully read and, and translated and understood. And to say, wow, you know, we're, this is good progress, really good progress. So that's chapter 1, and we'll, kept, we'll uh, continue with chapter 2. We'll go through the first few verses on Thursday, whenever we do our grammar session, and then the entirety of the chapter next week on Tuesday. Okay, do we have any questions or anything you want to go over before we call it quits? It's been one hour. I was kind of hoping it would be an hour and not an hour and a half or two hours because uh, I've got a long morning to step tomorrow and it's already three o'clock in the morning, so. All right, any questions? Good, thank you. This was great, thank you. All right, we'll see you guys on Thursday or on Tuesday. Yep. Take it easy. So much, okay. sir. See you Thursday. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. bye.